Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you for your support. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and today's video is extra special because I am abroad. I am here in Budapest, Hungary, and I am right outside the Money Museum, the National Museum of Hungarian Currency, and which is of course the foreign. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride while I go on the tour here and show you some of the coolest things that you can see at this museum. Anyway, as I always say, enough with the jibber jabber, let's go inside and check it out. So when you enter the museum, they give you this pass and you sign up with your name and this becomes your all access badge to the museum. And as you complete different activities, you are rewarded with digital gold coins and you can actually redeem those for a prize at the end if you get enough. So does Silver Picker have what it takes? Let's find out. So right off the bat, as you walk into the museum, you can tell that this is going to be a high tech and high quality experience. There are tons of cool exhibits, and the first one you're greeted with is really a display of different items that sort of illustrate how money is used in commerce as a stand-in to buy goods and services. And what's really cool about this museum is that after each exhibit, you get a chance to put the principles that you just learned about to the test in an interactive game where you can earn some gold coins. This particular challenge is about trading, and your robot trading partner offers you different items, and you have to decide what from your your inventory is worth the trade. Now, I will say that this game was a little bit frustrating because sometimes I would get a better deal than what was offered or I would think that the deal offered was not a good deal, but I would be penalized because I didn't guess what the computer wanted me to do. So it's imperfect, but it's still a really, really cool concept. Let's see how the rest of the games go. This next exhibit is one that is found in basically every single museum about money, and that is the history of money. And what's really cool though here is that they show all the different precursors to money, whether it's pelts of fur or seashells, but they also have this map on the wall where you can open up drawers under different countries and see what the ancient types of currency were in that part of the world. That is really, really cool, and I've never seen it done before like that. And here we have our next game, and I absolutely love this one. It's a commerce game in which you're buying and selling different types of grains, but here's the kicker. You can buy and sell either with gold coin or with banknotes, fiat currency. Now, while the game was trying to get you to use the fiat currency as a quote-unquote advanced commerce method, I, of course, did what I believe the smart thing was, which was buying the goods with paper currency and then selling them for gold coins. And of course, I was very well rewarded at the end, bringing in a whopping 68,000 gold coins to my score. The next exhibit was a really cool display of Hungarian coinage throughout the ages. But this wasn't your granddaddy's display, no, no. It was a high-tech interactive experience where they actually had a menu board of all the different coins, and you could click on them, see high-definition photos, and get tons of cool information on that. They should put that online, and every country should have this. They also had a really, really cool display of anti-counterfeiting techniques on modern currency. And this leads us to the banking exhibit in the museum and our next game where we can earn some gold coins. Now, this game was where you had to match lenders with borrowers, but to be honest, like most of the games in this museum, it was really confusing and you often got penalized for things that weren't really explained very well. So I would say A for effort, really, really good concept with the games and earning the gold, but a little bit problematic on the execution. But hey, I still only got one wrong and earned a bunch of gold. Next is a freaking huge gold bar that they give you an opportunity to try and lift and show you how dense gold is. Very cool. And that brings us to our next game, the stock market game, which is actually my favorite of all the games because it's not just an ordinary stock market game where you buy and sell shares in companies, but rather different news comes in about events in the world and you're supposed to interpret those events to see what will make the price rise or fall with particular companies. And that is really cool. And yeah, I did pretty darn well in this one. And the last exhibit in the museum is a really cool interactive exhibit, especially for kids, where you get to design your your very own banknote with guess whose face on it? Yes, your very own face on it. And this is actually quite similar to the exhibit in the Monet de Paris, the Paris Museum of Money, in which you mint your own coin. I did a video on that museum as well, and you can check it out in this card right here. And before you leave, they give you a few more opportunities with some dumb games to earn some extra coins, and I earned some extra coins, and check it, check it, Silver Picker made the gold, that's right. I got the top score and was able to walk away with the top prize. All right, so you obviously have to exit through the gift shop. 
and we're gonna get some stuff to give away. No question, no question. Through the magic of YouTube, I am back home. Yes, yes, I am back home. I bought these four coins at the gift shop, and guess what? I'm going to be giving these away to you guys. No, these are not for me. These are for you guys. I'm giving them away, and if you just watch a moment longer, you will find out how you can get your grubby little mitts on them. And yes, your eyes are not deceiving you, there is gold. That is a solid gold coin that is gonna go home with one of you guys watching right now. So, let's take a look at the coins. I'll save the gold one for last, and I'll tell you how you guys can get your hands on them. So, first one is this guy over here. This is a round, or a round coin, all coins, are, or not all coins, you know what I mean, a round coin, an ovular coin. This is an ovular coin with beautiful frosted features and a mirror finish background, and it is from, it is commemorating, uh, I guess, this guy, Vigner Yeno, uh, who I'm guessing is a Nobel laureate for Hungary. You can see a whole bunch of math stuff over there, fancy schmancy. I'm guessing he was a physicist and something nuclear. And this is a 3,000 farant coin from 2013. And it is, it's pretty cool. I like it. I picked it out mostly just because I like the design on the reverse. And I'm going to be giving that one away. We have another ovular coin. This one is in portrait mode, though. And this one is Hevesi Georgi, also a Nobel laureate. And this one is from 1943. Obviously, the coin's not from 1943, but it's commemorating an event in 1943. This one is a 5,000 forint. I don't understand why this one is 5,000 forints and this one is only 3,000 forints, yet they are the same size coin and they're both silver. But, you know, I digress. I don't really know what this represents. Maybe he's an astronomer of some kind. I'm not sure. It's like a body. It's like a human body made up of stars and there's like a target over there. Maybe he like discovered something related to the liver. I don't know. Somebody should tell me in the comments. Somebody should tell all of us in the comments. But anyway, cool coin also. Next up, we've got this big fatty. We've got this chunky monkey over here. This is a coin just commemorating Budapest, honoring and commemorating Budapest. It is really, really nice. I was there. I was it, at all of these scenes uh, on the Danube River. Very cool. And this one is also a 5,000 foreign coin. And these are 999, excuse me, 925 silver. This is a 925 silver coin. I think these ones are 999, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check that. Somebody can fact check me there. So I'm gonna be giving this away. This one is 5,000 forints, and it is 31.46 grams, 38.61 millimeters. And yes, I'm reading it off of this certificate of authenticity. And what is funny is when I bought these, uh, they gave me only two certificates of authenticity. I said, what about these coins? And they go, oh, we don't, we, don't have, we don't have certificates for those. So they guess kind of like don't bother on the like lower end coins. I mean, these are still silver. These are not like super low end. These were expensive. So I don't understand why they couldn't just print out these cards, but whatever, that's how they do it. That's how they do it. So I'm gonna be giving those three silver coins away. And the piece de resistance, we've got ourselves a gold coin. Yes, this is a gold coin and it depicts Robert Kappa, who was a famous Hungarian photographer. I think he was a war photographer. This is a 100th anniversary of the birth of Robert Kappa. And it is a 5,000 foreign coin. And this is a 999 fine gold half gram coin. And yes, I'm giving it away for free. So all this stuff, giving away for free. How do you get your hands on? That's all you guys care about, right? That's all you guys wanna know. And I'm gonna be giving them away all at my next WhatNot auction. If you don't know what WhatNot is, WhatNot is an incredible live video auction platform in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of cool collectibles. Obviously, I'm mostly interested in coins, but they've got trading cards, sports cards, comic books, video games, sneakers. Basically, if you collect it, they have it. And if you use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker to download the app, not only get access to the incredible platform for free, but you also get $15 in WhatNot credit to spend on anything you want, whether at my auction or anyone else's. It's 15 bucks in free silver, free coins, free collectibles, whatever you want. So don't sleep on that. whatnot.com slash invite slash silver picker. So at my next WhatNot auction, date to be determined, I am going to be selling all sorts of cool stuff, but I always give away like $250 worth of free silver and gold coins. And that's what these guys are gonna be.
So download the app, use my link, get your free credit, and bookmark me, Silver Picker, on the WhatNot app so you don't miss my next auction and you have a chance to get your hands on these guys. Anyway, I had such a good time at the Budapest Museum of Money. I had so much fun there, and I definitely recommend that you guys check it out if you are ever in Hungary. So I really had a good time with this video. I hope you did too. I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike, so stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. If you're not yet a patron, join the Patreon, the links are below, and you'll get access to my private Discord group in which all sorts of collectors come together to talk shop, talk coins, and just have a good time.